Taekwon World is a set of the Gangsta Disciples who are known to beef with BD sets like O Block and 600. They got their name from the tragic death of a 13 year old member of Draw City named Taekwon Tyler. Let's get into the story of Taekwon World and their deadly war with O Block. Gang members killing their ops ain't nothing new in Chicago, but the murder that started Taekwon World was actually committed by someone from the same gang. Taekwon Tyler was just a normal kid from the South Side. He grew up in the Draw City neighborhood and was cool with several members of the gang. Draw City is a set of gangster disciples and insane black disciples. They ally with STLEBT, which is why they also beef with BD sets like 600 and O Block. Taekwon was a distant cousin of KI, and the two were known to be close. KI was a female shooter from STLEBT who was one of O Block's main ops. It's rumored that before his death, KI was teaching Taekwon how to rob and shoot at ops in the streets. Taekwon originally lived in the 6500 block of South Washington Avenue in Woodlawn, but his mom witnessed multiple violent shootings in the neighborhood and sent him away to live with relatives in the suburbs to keep him safe. At the time of his death, he was living in East Moline, a city in Western Illinois along the Iowa border, but he often returned to Chicago to see his friends. On June 24, 2012, Taekwon begged his mom to let him go to a party in the 6200 block of South Rose Avenue. He was home for like two weeks after moving back to Chicago for the summer. At first, she didn't want to let him go, fearing that there might be violence. But his older sisters, who was 15 and 19, were also going and agreed to keep an eye on him. Plus, the party was only about five blocks away from where he grew up. His mom later drove by the party to pick up her kids, but when she arrived, she found her son lying on the sidewalk. According to police reports, a fight broke out around 1.20 a.m. When the cops arrived, they found Taekwon had been shot in the chest. They rushed him to the University of Chicago Comer's Children's Hospital, where he was pronounced dead around 3 a.m. There's a few different stories of what exactly happened that night. Some say that Taekwon was just an innocent bystander who was at the wrong place at the wrong time and got hit with a bullet meant for someone else. Others say Taekwon was a target and robbed his killer not long before. A 25-year-old named Nashan Flowers was later convicted of Taekwon's murder. Nashan, aka Nate, was from Draw City, the same gang that Taekwon was from. According to rumors, KI was teaching Taekwon how to rob their ops in the hood. Not long before his death, Taekwon robbed Nate, which he never forgot. So, when he saw him that night at the party, he decided to get revenge. According to prosecutors in the trial, Nate was fighting with members of another gang. He and another man went into an alley outside the party where Taekwon and others were standing. When he saw Taekwon, Nate fired two shots, hitting him in the chest. Witnesses say they saw Nate running from the alley with the gun still in his hand. Nate was eventually convicted of the murder and sentenced to 55 years in prison. His co-defendant, Dwayne Chester, also pled guilty to conspiracy and was sentenced to seven years. Taekwon's death caused a major split in Draw City. Nate was a respected member of the gang, so many stayed loyal to him even after the murder. But others thought the killing was unnecessary, especially because Nate was a grown man and Taekwon was still just a kid. Plus, there wasn't even ops and was cool with the same people. Taekwon World was created as an entirely different set to honor Taekwon. Naming a set or a neighborhood after a fallen member of the gang is common in Chicago. Just like when Odie Perry got killed, Wick City started going by the name O Block. Or when Lil Jojo was killed, Brick Squad took the name Jojo World. So that's where the name Taekwon World started. Taekwon's death also had a major impact on KI, who was already deep into the street life. She first got sucked in after the death of her best friend, Suka. So when Taekwon was killed, the pain only got worse and she went even harder for revenge. After his death, she changed her Twitter handle to Taekwon Assassin and vowed to get revenge on anyone talking down on her cousin. At first, Taekwon World was just another name for Draw City, but it eventually became its own set and was made up of members who was groomed by KI. But not everyone was mourning after Taekwon passed away. Several members of the BDs, including King Von, Mimo 600, and 600 Breezy, started dissing Taekwon, leading to a beef between Taekwon World and 600 and No Block. On February 12, 2014, a 14-year-old named Venzel Richardson, aka Big V, was shot and killed outside a convenience store in Woodlawn. Police say Big V was getting some candy and chips at the store and was on the way home when a white van pulled up and someone started shooting from the driver's side door. Big V was hit four times and later died from his injuries. D. Rose from 600 was later convicted of the murder and sentenced to 40 years in prison. He was one of 600's most respected shooters and became famous after being shouted out in songs by Chief Keef in round on number 9. D. Rose has maintained his innocence, but many believe he took the fall for someone else. He's still currently locked up for the murder. Big V was from Taekwon World and was one of the first members of the gang to be murdered. Other members of Taekwon World were also there to witness Big V get shot, including a dude named TB. TB and Big V were close friends and seeing him get killed right in front of him changed his whole personality and outlook on life. Not long after that, the original leader of Taekwon World, KI, was murdered while walking to get lunch with some friends. Earlier that day, she revealed her location on social media, so her ops had to drop on her. KI's killer was never arrested, 
but it's been rumored that King Von was the one behind the shooting, which was partially confirmed by Chicago Police Department after his death. After KI's murder, the members she trained from Taekwon World started putting in real work and built in a name for they set in the streets. They was out for revenge and started targeting other members of O Block and 600. Over the next few years, they got into constant shootouts and both sides would lose members in the war. Then, in 2017, O Block lost one of its most respected members, T Roy, who was allegedly killed by TB. T Roy was one of King Bond's best friends and one of O Block's top ranking members. TB was quickly becoming one of Taekwon World's most dangerous shooters after allegedly killing several members of 600 and Front Street. So being the top two shooters in rival sets, TB and T Roy had it out for each other. They used to beef on social media and were known to have problems. Then, on February 14th, 2017, T Roy allegedly went looking for TB in his own hood in the 2000 block of East 71st Street. It's rumored that T-Roy was spotted by FBG Brick, the older brother of FBG Duck from STL EBT. STL is cool with Taekwon World, so Brick supposedly called TB and told him that T-Roy was out looking for him and gave away his location. TB and two of his homies ended up tracking T-Roy to a nearby store. He ran to the door and pulled out his gun. T-Roy tried to defend himself, but wasn't fast enough, and TB ended up shooting him in the chest. T-Roy was rushed to Northwestern Memorial Hospital in critical condition, but was later pronounced dead. The death of T-Roy was a major loss for O-Block, and only turned up the beef with Taekwon World. Not long after that, O Block got their payback by taking out several members of Taekwon World, including TB. T Roy's brother, HK, then formed the infamous Get Back Gang and went after those responsible for his brother's death. In June 2017, one of TB's close homies, Poppy, who was also from Taekwon World, got killed in a drive by shooting. Poppy appeared along with TB in the song Taekwon Way, which is now considered a drill classic. Poppy was standing on the 7000 block of South State Street around 3 p.m when a dark colored car pulled up and shot him in the head. He was rushed to Stroger Hospital, but later pronounced dead. Poppy was caught lacking or working his job at a local grocery store. No one was ever arrested for his murder, but it was rumored to have been done by HK and other members of O Block. Poppy was suspected to have been involved in the murder of another O Block member named Chino. Plus, he was TB's close friend, which made him the perfect target. Just a few weeks later in July, O Block got revenge on two of their rival gangs at the same time after killing FBG Brick from STL EBT and his cousin Kobe Mack from Taekwon World. A group of BDs from O Block and 600 allegedly caught Brick and Kobe Mack by themselves in the 6300 block of South St. Lawrence. According to witnesses, they shot Kobe Mack first, then chased Brick down the alley. He tried to hop over a fence to get away, but got stuck and was shot in the back. So the bodies kept dropping. Just a few months later, HK finally got his revenge for his brother's death by killing TB. On September 26, 2017, TB was out with one of his homies from Draw City. Someone gave his location to HK, so he and Mikado from 600 went to confront him. They drove to the location on the 7000 block of South Paxton and got out of the car. That's when HK allegedly shot TB in the head and Mikado shot his friend in the arm. They was both rushed to Northwestern Hospital, where TB was pronounced dead, but his friend survived. TB's death was a major loss for Taekwon World. He was one of their most popular rappers and also a respected shooter, but all the dirt he did in the streets came back around and he was killed just a few blocks away from where he allegedly killed T-Roy. The war between Taekwon World and Old Block still continues to this day. A member of Taekwon World named D-Money was murdered just a few months ago and it's been rumored that his killer was from Old Block. So it don't seem like an end to this war will come anytime soon.